when people see me do this, I usually get a reaction like I just bit a child for no reason. I like to eat vegetables as a whole. It's delicious. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm Lily Lin. Now that I've worked out, I've gone shopping, I'm starving. So right here, I'm gonna go over with you guys some of my dietary habits and how I usually eat. Especially for the times when I need to be fit and to be able to perform in some of those more action-oriented or intense roles. Now, I've only got two rules, really, that I follow in accordance with what I eat. I'm going to give you guys one right now and one at the end of this whole thing. So one rule I set for myself way, way, way long time ago is that I want to eat my biggest meal right after my workout. So this is the most protein, the most carbohydrate, and just in terms of quantity. If I set that as my biggest meal after I work out and every other meal following to be smaller and smaller, whether I'm snacking or grazing, and whether I'm eating six meals a day, as I am eating right now, or just two meals a day because I don't have time. I put my biggest meal at the end of my workout. That's the only rule I follow. If I stick by that rule, it usually takes me good places. So what I eat after I work out, I eat a plant-based diet for many reasons. One of the reasons is because it's healthy. The other reason is because I want to. I have everything I need in a plant-based diet. My proteins are usually hemp, peanut butter. After I work out, I just mix these. I roughly know how much it is. I don't really go by numbers or calculate. This is two scoops of peanut butter and three scoops of hemp. They're complete proteins, especially the hemp is one of the biggest and best plant source proteins. It's got everything I need to be able to build muscle. And I just add some sweetener. This is stevia sweetener. Other times I've used dextrose sweetener if I need to have more endurance, aerobic exercise energy, or if I want to give myself a treat, I've been known to eat Lucky Charms or uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That was a long time ago. I haven't had that in a while because as you'll see later, I have some sweet treats for myself as well. So I just add this in. Now this might be the weirdest part of my diet. When people make a smoothie, they usually put water in this, but um, for myself, I like to be a bit unique and a little bit different. So I just eat it raw dog, like a powder. The other weird thing is, I don't know why, but when people see me do this, I usually get a reaction like I just bit a child for no reason. I like to eat vegetables as a whole. For peppers, I don't know why it's surprising that I eat it like an apple, but if I slice it into little strips, same pepper, no surprise, it's delicious. Now, I like to eat things raw dog, so a lot of vegetables, like for example, a zucchini, you can eat this raw as well. Delicious. Sometimes I don't have time to prepare food, so I've really learned to enjoy just the natural taste, natural goodness of food, like a pumpkin. Earlier I popped this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes, and it's come out perfect, like a pumpkin cake. My favorite part of the pumpkin that a lot of you throw away is the skin. Eat the skin of the pumpkin. It is the best part of the pumpkin. Alright, that's the simple stuff. If I want to give myself a treat, I look for people that are far more skillful than me that's able to create these plant-based cuisine. I have Daphne Chang here. She's one of the pioneers 
and plant-based cooking. This is her domain and she is the master. Let's just see what she has for me. So, made you a zucchini pasta with bell pepper, bean sprouts and shiitake mushroom. Some peanut sauce. <laughs> it smells so good. Oh my god, okay. So this has some of my favorite things in it. It's got bell peppers, peanut sauce, scallions, <laughs> zucchini that I chopped down on earlier. Mushrooms, I've got to tell you, mushrooms is my secret weapon. I think, you know, the world has a meat addiction because we evolved to love meat. It gives us the flavor umami, which usually we associate with meat and basically our brains are hacked to think that we need this meat and we want this meat. The more meat we get, the better. But for me, it's not the case because I rehacked it and I get my umame from mushrooms. So I'm gonna have a go. Oh my God. That is so good. Got you some dessert too. So these are chocolate truffle protein balls. So. so basically, this is what I'm made of. Have <laughs> peanut butter, there's cocoa powder, and some water. Oh wow, look. And it's like shaped into a perfect bowl. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> One more go, you guys ready? <laughs> One more time. You guys ready? Did it, you did it. That's power. <laughs> It's just hemp, peanut butter, cocoa powder, and sweetener, and water. Oh, so good. You're gonna have to get these away from me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna thank you. Okay, and then for the rest of the day, you know, when I use snacks, I just have things like this, nori, seaweed. I pop it in my mouth. A lot of the things I eat are super dry, <laughs> as you can see. So I drink lots of water the other day. Look, we eat out so much now, we have a lot of processed foods. We forget how good food in its original form tastes like. I know what you guys are thinking. Being vegan, are there things that I do to make sure that I can have everything I need? And I get a lot of questions about this. One is, where do I get my iron from? Look, there's tons of iron in this. There's tons of iron in spinach, broccoli, lots of green leafy vegetables, a lot of calcium. And right now there's tons of things on the market that you can buy that are calcium fortified and it's completely 100% vegan. I do take some vitamins and, and supplements. This is my supplement plate here. I've got some probiotic, a multivitamin, some calcium, turmeric, vitamin D, and a B vitamin, B12. That's what I do. I don't think it's necessary, but my workouts are quite demanding. So I have this just as a safety net. And I've basically gotten so good at swallowing things now. I can just pop this in my mouth in one go. Let's go down the hatch. That's it guys. That's in essence, my entire diet. I'm still amazed at how good that is, guys. Now, I said there was two rules that I follow. Number one is I eat my biggest meal after I work out. The second rule in regards to food is I don't fight what's inevitable. And if I'm going to do something, I do things that I can sustain for my entire life. And eating plant-based, staying away from animal products is something I think is inevitable because it's good for the earth, it's good for my body. I feel good about it because animals are cute and also it is the only thing that's sustainable. So that's it guys, that's all me. If you have questions, feel free to shoot me anything online. I hope you guys enjoy this because man, I know, I know I've enjoyed it. I need to find some of those uh, protein balls after this. Yeah.